In this video, I'll show you how to bind our pivot grid to data using the server mode, which is used with large data sets. I've already created an application and added our pivot grid. Let's create the data context. Here in the Solution Explorer, I'll right click the project name and select Add New Item. Go to the data section and choose ADO.NET Entity Data Model. Enter a model name, here we'll use Northwind Data Context, and click Add. Select Code First from the database model and click Next. Now create a new connection. Select Microsoft SQL Server and click Continue. I've already created a local connection. Select Local SQL Server and the Northwind database. Now go ahead and choose the invoices table. Select the salesperson view. Click finish and rebuild the project. Now go to the toolbox and double click the entity server mode data source component so we can add it to the project. Select the component and go to the Properties window. Specify the type of objects retrieved from the data source using the context type name property. I'll also specify the data table name using the table name property. And now bind the pivot grid control to the entity server mode data source component. Let's add fields. Click on the pivot grid smart tag and run the designer. Click Retrieve Fields and then select Country, Category Name, Extended Price, and Salesperson. Drag and drop the Country and Salesperson fields into the column area. Then put the Category Name field into the row area and close the designer. If you run this now, you'll see our pivot grid is populated with a lot of data using the server mode technology. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.